just another opportunity to play for us. I think um, we're excited to get back on the court, excited to have more games. Um, it wasn't what we wanted, but I mean, anytime you get into a postseason tournament um, that you'll accept, it's excited to play another game. You were around when this team was in an NIT. Is it as intense as the regular Pac-12 season? Is it a little more amped up? Or do you see other teams like, OK, we're here. Let's see if we win. Um, I think. Um, as it's, as it goes along, you start getting more amped. I mean, the first game is kind of man. You still kind of have that lag of not making the tournament, and then the more you start winning, the closer you get to going to New York, the competition and the level of play starts to get higher and higher and higher because you actually start getting those competitive juices going back. What do you remember about Beach a couple of years ago? Um, Romar asked me that question. Uh, I said Mike Caffey. I mean, he was a really good guard for them. They had a lot of good guards playing there. Um, he's not there anymore, but. Um, I think we last year we played him too, and I mean he was there and they had another couple of good young guards. I know um, Nick Foster is there from Maryland, the transfer. Um, so it seems like they still kind of have that that same group of guys, long, athletic, kind of similar to us. And they like to shoot threes. What the challenge that present defensively for you guys? Um, I think anytime we play a team that's more perimeter oriented, we're pretty good because we we, we white um, with everything. So threes won't really hurt us as much as we've been um, rebounding and uh, big to the side. So I think um, that matchup kind of favors us a little bit because they like to play on the perimeter so we're able to uh, contest a lot of shots. What do you remember, Andrew, about the, the run that you guys made when you beat Oregon to get to, to New York? Man, I remember that game was just, just incredible. I remember um, we had split with them during the regular season. So going into that game, there was a lot riding on it. And they played us tough. Um, that game at home, I just remember um, that was kind of our turning point. That game for us, really wanting to be in the NIT and playing um, to try and win a championship game. Do you do like have a sense that this uh, the thing is it uh, about this team that allows you guys to get past losses? Just, I mean, is that the youth? Is that or is that I don't know what is that? Um, I think it's youth and just the personality of this team. I don't think. Um, Anybody takes basketball for granted. So even though you're losing, a lot of us are just happy that we're able to play the game that we love and um, play it at a high level. So I think, um, and with our losses, once again, it's just everything comes down to the wire, which is which is encouraging and sometimes can be discouraging at some points. But I think um, we know how good we can be if we put it all together. And are you thinking that'll sort of be the same thing that this week? Yeah, I actually do. I think. Um, Going in after uh, we had a practice yesterday, after watching the selection show and everything, you would think that we would come down like kind of bummed and feeling sorry for ourselves. But we had a really good practice, one of our actually best practices of the year. And the coaches went on as much, especially for the circumstances that uh, that took place. But I mean, it was a really good practice. Everyone seemed upbeat and uh, excited to play. Another game at home. Talk about that. Um, I mean, it's great. Anytime you get a chance to play in front of our crowd. Um, Try and get another win on home court. I mean, it's a little bit of an advantage that we have, and just uh, not having to travel as much. Um, it's a lot of a lot of positives for that. You gotta try to top that forty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, probably not. Probably not. That was a uh, that was a pretty good game. But I just hope we get a win. What when you talk about having to practice stuff after the selection show? When you saw this, and especially when you saw the seating like, you know, as a three seat for the NIT, and you kind of see how close. Everything was. Do you even think or, or take time to go back and think about that Oregon State game or that Colorado game or some of the kind of the what ifs? Oh uh, yeah, always. I mean, you, you start thinking about those once you're once you're on the bubble. Like, man, if we would have beat them. But even going back to the UCSB game, like you didn't have to stop at or start at Oregon State. I mean, um, we controlled our own destiny for a while, and so we can't can't point fingers, can't do anything. That's kind of on us. But um, yeah. Anything else?